So if you remember last week, I said that I would be playing a whole bunch of different racing games this week, and this is one of them, MX versus ATV Supercross. So without further ado, let's just jump into it. So what I think we're going to do, I already did one little single player quick race, uh, just to sort of get the feeling for the game. And uh, I'm going to jump into the career, so let's see what we've got. Uh, 250 West, that sounds good. Uh, opponent skill, let's do, uh, let's do rookie, because I'm not very good. Uh, duration, let's go three laps, keep it, uh, and let's go with a quick bike, the Rainbow MX 250F. Don't know what that means, but, all right, let's go. Oh, cheeky. Oh. All right, so, uh, if you remember a little while ago, maybe actually, it was almost like a year ago, actually, I played a motocross game. Oh, go! I played, an, I, made, I played a motocross game that was actually very, very similar to this. I'll talk about that in a little bit, though. Um, so, before... Oh, no! I've ruined my race already, and I'm on the first corner! God damn it! So, first of all, mad props to the guys over at Rainbow and Nordic uh, for actually sending me this game and letting me just try it out and uh, give you my opinions on it. However, this is not a sponsored video. Oh, <laughs> I almost killed a guy. Uh, I, can, I can actually say whatever I want. Well, actually, I didn't say that they just said here here's the game play it and enjoy and uh, give your opinions on it so that's what i'm gonna do if there's things that i don't like in this game i'm gonna say it if there's things that i do like i'm going to say it so um yeah just in full disclosure they did give me this game for free and uh yeah i'm gonna give you my opinion on it so the first thing that you should know is this game is actually 30 dollars. it is not the price oh i'm having some issues with these jumps uh this is not the price of a full xbox title um, it is actually on Xbox and PS3, so I know there are some PS3 guys who watch me, uh, so if you are interested in a actually pretty decent, uh, motocross game, definitely check this out. So now, getting back to the thing that I was talking about before, I played a similar game to this, uh, on the PC that uses some very, very similar controls. The way that it did it is, if you see my- OH NO! Oh, thank you game for being kind. Uh, if you see my handlebars turning, I'm doing that with the left stick, but then I can also lean with the right stick, which is really cool. So if I go into this corner and I just lean like that, oh, that's a bit too much. <laughs> so yeah, so let's start talking about this game. What are the good and the bad of this game? As for the actual gameplay, for this right now, it's really cool. I, I put it on much too easy of a difficulty, but hey, everything seems to be actually really good. The physics and everything, yeah, there's some, like, things where you can't jump out of the ring and stuff, or, like, go just drive anywhere. But it's a racing game. You're not supposed to be able to drive out anywhere. Uh, they got these invisible walls. But, uh, yeah, for the most part, this game actually feels really good. Especially with what I was talking about before. With those, like, dual control, uh, dual sticks to control your bike. I really like that. I, I, it definitely gives it a really good feeling in the hands, I must say. Oh! So, yeah, that is actually one of the negative features to this game. The graphics and the character models for the most part, aren't too, too great. Like, in-game, like here, they look actually pretty decent, but uh, before and after the... Oh, that was a terrible start. Before and after the race, it's just like, ugh. But, um, yeah, for the most part, I'm quite happy with the graphics. Uh, they do look a little outdated, but uh, considering it's a motocross game, not too bad, I must say. One thing that I do think definitely needs work is the atmosphere when, uh, when racing around here. It doesn't seem very intense at all. Like, you can hear the fans a little bit, but if it was me, I'd like to have some more, I don't know, just somehow integrating the fans more and making it a little bit more intense, like maybe having screens and replay cam- Oh, sorry! <laughs> I must say, though, these stadiums actually look pretty damn good. And across the line, and I landed on my ass. Nice! Yeah, this is the part where you need better character models, I think. Like, our, our drivers look pretty good, but the other people, not so much. So, customize the vehicle. Oh, boy. All right, so let's go with this and see what we got. Oh, we got graphics? How do we change our graphics? There we go. Oh, wow, that level of detail is really cool. How many pieces are there in here? Oh, wow, there's eight different handlebars. I assume for each bike, too. That's a lot of parts. Holy crap. That's a good number of upgrades to your bike. Holy crap. My, my bike may look kind of stupid, but hey, that's not bad. <laughs> All right, let's do the same with our rider and see what we can do with him. Holy crap. If we just won that with a stock bike, I wonder what we can do with, like, an upgraded one. And then I can go in and change all of... Whoa. 
Oh, that would look pretty good on my pink bike. My final take on this game, what do I think of it? Should you go out and buy it? If you like motocross games or are looking for a very good motocross game... Oh, there's a dead guy. Uh, then... Oh, I just ran over a dead guy! Uh, then yes, definitely check this out and uh, pick it up. Because it is only $30. But for instance, if you're not so into the whole motocross thing, should you pick it up? Maybe. I really enjoy it, and I'm probably going to keep playing it for a couple hours. But the only major issue that I that I see with it is that it will get very, very repetitive. <laughs> guy just died right in front of me. <laughs> the only issue that I that I see with it is that it will get very, very repetitive. So yeah, if you're not worried about it getting too repetitive and are into racing and especially motocross, then definitely check this game out. Because like I said, it is only thirty dollars, so it's not like you're gonna lose, right? And hey. It's a pretty cool game, I must say. This game is actually tremendously fun. Online? Holy crap. It would be even better. This is just offline, like, the career mode or whatever. But yeah, if you start doing some stuff with some friends and setting up, like, your own, uh, own career-style races with, like, points and stuff with your friends, holy crap, that could be really, really cool. So, yeah, that's another big positive feature for this game. It's very easy to just turn it into, like, an online racer-style competitive game, which is pretty cool. I would give it a let's say a 7 out of 10 I would say it's a really good game where it stands the only real issue that I would have with this game is the repetitiveness of it like yeah you do have you you have your bikes right and also you have your ATVs like MX versus ATV right motocross um and that 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 would do well but the only issue is that how repetitive is it going to be going around the same 17 tracks over and over again I don't know when I guess all you're really doing is just racing I don't, I, don't, I don't really know. Also, yeah, I forgot to mention, this is only, like, one part of the game I'm showing you right here. Uh, there's also also the whole ATV thing. Oh, that was a thing. Uh, there's also the whole ATV thing. So if you're into ATVs more than motorbikes, uh, yeah, you can do that as well. Like, yeah, the game, the name of the game is MX versus ATV. So, uh, yeah, if you are into the whole uh, ATV thing, yeah. Anyways, guys, there you go. That is MX versus ATV for you. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, click that subscribe button down below for more types of videos like this in your subscription box. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.